Hi there. <laughs> Welcome. You know, I just did a uh, uh, collaborative workshop this past weekend with Trent McIntyre, and it was so special, a special collaboration, because I knew initially several years ago when Trent first designed the Arcus Bar that this was something very, very special that I definitely had to have in my studio. Um, and for the purpose of understanding on a or deeper level, what is biointelligence? How do we move through a biointelligent way of being with ourselves? Which I really feel Pilates can be, but often we tend to get into a just lock out, pull back, rather than how does the soft way this is designed actually speak to the soft way the shoulder is functioning how does how does particularly I want, to, I want to speak a little bit more about this relationship to the way the manubrium of my shoulder girdle talks to the shoulder talks to the arm so this more three-dimensional four-dimensional really because space spatial way of being with ourselves how does that reawaken a way of listening to what our bodies want, a way of responding, a way of adapting, and uh, how does that feed a powerful way of being with Pilates, yoga, really any discipline. Uh, so I'm going to share with you a fun flow that I do. I've done it for years with the fuzzy straps attached to the springs. And now I'm going to show you how I do something very similar with Arcus and how that feeds a way of widening and opening and and uh, and you'll see my my body. I'm just gonna let it play. So I'm just allowing the springs to feed. Allow it to my shoulders elbow to hand, eyes softening, noticing where my feet are in relationship to my sitting bones, which allow my hamstrings to open up the front of the spine. So now I get foot to head. And I'm not making my hands do this, they're playing from foot the hand getting internal external rotation because I'm allowing my body to just do what it knows how to do. Shoulder blades to deep belly feeds the lift down the back up the front. My legs feel very free, playful. So that sense of what could be a very difficult exercise becomes playful. Through, floating, feeding. <sighs> Just letting my body feel it. And rolling across. How do I feel the movement of my head to hand, foot to head? Feeling the weight shift, the rolling through. It's different each side. Now I take it to more challenging movement. Feel the lift from foot to head. Finding the hover. Feeling playful. Letting each side feel what it needs.
and you can see it could go on and on and on. So it's just, it feels so delicious. It's so mm, hydrating because remember that fascia, the fascial system is not a thing. It's not fascia, it is movement. And the fascial system is in relationship with the fluid system. So when we allow our bodies to flow, we allow, we don't hold and lock, we actually allow our organs to sense our hands, our organs to sense our feet. And we notice that it's just a, sometimes how, how often you say, oh gosh, my eyesight, I just feel like I can see better. I see colors more brightly. What's that about? Because we're opening our fluid resonance, we're awakening to our natural biointelligence. That's what our body knows. It is self-healing. It is adaptive at any age. I'm 70 this year, and you know what? I'm doing really well. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Trent. And uh, just thank you all for this just beautiful body of work that we're all exploring in. I look forward to hearing from you, collaborating with you, playing with you. See you soon.